Praise the Lord. Good morning. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. And it is a great joy and privilege this morning to be alive on Facebook and YouTube to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord that everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in the world. As I always says, beloved and friends, Jesus says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of the world. Is not awesome. Is not great. Is that mighty, my beloved and friends, that God promised to be with us even unto the end of the world. Hallelujah. And praise God. He says, A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee, and no plague shall come by thy dwelling. Welcome this morning. Those of you watching me live from your living room, from your dining room, from your kitchen, from your car, from your office, uh, from on the street, with your phone, or even in church, or right here this morning. God bless you richly. There is a blessing in store for you this morning. Hallelujah. As I always say, my friends and beloved, I love to pray for the sick before I start preaching. And this morning, I know many are watching me this morning who are sick. My friends, this morning, I do not care what sickness you have because Jesus says this morning, he says, healing is a children's bread. And the first covenant to make with man was a covenant of healing. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes and he, you are healed, we are healed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. My friends, Jesus Christ never changes. My friends, those situations may change. Our circumstances may change. Constitutions may change. Laws may change. But Jesus Christ never changes. He is still in the healing business. He is still the healing, loving God. Because 2,000 years ago, when he walked upon the face of the earth, he told his disciples, he said, when I go, the Comforter will come, which is the Holy Spirit, and he will live in you and abide in you, and the works that I did, he shall do better. What works did Jesus did, my friends? He healed the sick, he raised the dead, he made the lame walk and blind see, and he performed the miraculous. It's not awesome. My friends, the same God, I'm speaking about this here this morning. And God, the Holy Spirit, is here with me because that's what God promised. And He says, He says, we shall do greater works. What works did Jesus did? He healed the sick, raised the dead, making a walk and blind see. And this morning, God, the Holy Spirit, is here with me this morning. Hallelujah. And God has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, to set the captives free, to heal the sick, raise the dead, make a walk and blind see, and perform the miracles. Are you ready this morning? Are you ready for your healing this morning? I see many are watching me who are sick this morning. I do not care if you have cancer, if you have AIDS, if you have COVID, if you have diabetes, if you have a liver problem, a heart problem, a lungs problem, a kidney problem, if you have a blood issue, a dialysis problem this morning, a dialysis situation, my friends, in your blood this morning. My friends, Jesus will touch you and heal you. I do not care if you're deaf, you're dumb, you're blind. Hallelujah. My friends, what a situation be if you have a broken arm, a broken leg, a broken ribs, whatever pain you're suffering, arthritis, pain, my friends, Jesus Christ can touch you. If you have depression, depression, frustration, if you're suffering from anxiety, if your demon possessed this morning, if demons are tormenting you, if your demon possessed, if you cannot sleep in the night, I want to tell you, Jesus Christ will touch you and deliver you this morning. I know many, many this morning will need deliverance from a financial bondage. You need a breakthrough in your finances. Right now, I release a financial blessing upon your life. I release a financial blessing upon, upon your business this morning. I release a blessing in your family, in your relation, family relationship, in, in your, your marriage this morning. I release a blessing and a blessing and anointing upon your marriage. I release a blessing upon your children. I release a blessing upon your job. And I claim a promotion on your job for you this morning in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. What is your need this morning? Do you have a financial need? If you have a physical need, a spiritual need, a social need, a material need, whatever need you have this morning, I'm here to tell you my my friends, as a servant of God this morning, that God loves you and He able to meet that need. Right now, my friends and beloved, Jesus Christ is on the main line this morning. Just tell Him what you want. He says, Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be open unto thee. What is your need this morning? Hallelujah. Many are watching this morning. My friends, I know some of you, the doctors, are giving up. 
and he said you only have a few months or a few more weeks to live but I'm here to tell you through the power of God and through the power of the Holy Spirit you will not die you will not die but you will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny hallelujah divine purpose you will not die but you will live in the mighty name of Jesus are you ready I feel a tremendous anointing of the Holy Spirit this morning there is a tremendous anointing of the Holy Spirit with God promise to be with us, my friends, and that, that anointing, I'm going to send for that anointing where we are right now. Are you ready to receive a miracle? Are you ready to receive from the hands of God this morning? Right now, I'm going to send for that anointing in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Whom the Son set free is free indeed. I see in the spirit realm that many are healed this morning. Many are saved. Many are delivered from our own manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities. Hallelujah. My friends, that's the power of God. That's the power of the Holy Spirit. That's the anointing of God, my friends. I know, hallelujah, that many are delivered from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease. Many have received from the hands of God. But because of time this morning, my friends and beloved, I cannot call out your sicknesses and your pain and your disease and your miracles this morning but write me text me call me and let me know what god has done for you in jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name my friends god has great things in store for your life but all of us has to go through a process a process my friends a process if you want the formula milk for the babies you have to get the milk from the cow the cow has to be well fed and then you have to milk the cow and get the milk and the milk has to go through a process to get the baby formula. Right now in America there is a shortage of baby formula but my friends there is a process and even in your life whatever product you want. Whatever thing you want in life, my friends, everything has to go through a process. And even with our lives, we have to go through a process in order for a God to use us. There is a process, my friends, hallelujah, and we need to encounter God process for our lives. My friends, because you've got to, to break, God has to break out in order to get all the good stuff in you, my friends. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name. Hallelujah. You got to get good stuff in you to come out for your good and his glory, my friends. Hallelujah. And so somebody ought to praise him that he is a God who breaks us in order. He breaks us in order to make us. It's not awesome, my friends. Hallelujah. He has to break us in order to make us. It's not awesome. It's not great. It's not mighty, my friends. Unless God breaks you, he cannot make you this morning. First of all, he has to break you. Amen. Hallelujah. My friends, this morning, God wants to do something in our life. There is a process. There is a process. I'm here, my friends, hallelujah, to tell you there is a process in your life. And in whatever product God has to use in your life, he has to make sure that you go through that process. Whatever, if you want milk, there's a process. If you want to make a um, Corn flour, there's a process. The corn has to go in the field, and after the picking the corns, they have to shell out the corns, and then they go through a process to make corn meal and so many different things my friends but i need to tell you that unless we go through the process of god unless we pass through the process of god my friends we cannot be used of god almighty we can never be used of him effectively because you can never be a fly by night person that god wants you to use david has to go through 20 years training before before god uses him hallelujah my friends he run from he, he enlisted in the army of saul of saul for 10 years hallelujah for six years he run from saul and for four years he seek a refuge in ziklog he was training my friends that even my friends i'm here to tell you that even even my friends david even david he run he run but god fulfilled his purpose and even so joseph there was a process in his life before god used him my friends all of us have to go through that process in life for god to use us and he wants to use us my friends but we need to surrender he has to break and take out and take out for us before he can use us highly ready for the word of god this morning 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Father God, I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. I give you thanks. I thank you for your love and your grace and your mercy and every concern and the working of the Holy Spirit this morning. Dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit. Anoint my lips. Anoint my tongue. Anoint my voice. As I minister your words, it will be a blessing. I want you to see that God bless my friends this morning. I want to talk to you today about the process of broken to encounter God, process of Him, hallelujah, uh, stripping you, my friends, this morning, hallelujah, of self-sufficiency. So, my friends, uh, that you can experience, uh, you can experience, my friends, a new, a new level, a new level of, of His reality this morning. Are you following me this morning? Your life and mine, a new reality in your life and mine, my, my, my friends, uh, brokenness is when God intervenes, intervenes in your life, hallelujah, through my friends, a negative set, set of circumstances, hallelujah, my friends, this morning to attack a, a flaw, attack a flaw, my friends, in your personality, in your personality, there, my friends, is a flaw, there is a flaw this morning in your humanity, my friends, that desperately needs, need to be addressed this morning, hallelujah, and my friends, he recognizes, he recognizes, is at the, the core of it is independence, independence and self-sufficiency, my friends, this morning, and to strip you and me of it this morning, hallelujah, my friends and beloved, he begins a process, he begins a process of breaking us, of breaking us, my friends, hallelujah, you have three parts of you, my friends, hallelujah, you have a body, this is my physical body of flesh, blood and bone, we have a soul and a spirit, First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 33 tells us, we you are made up of spirit, spirit, soul, and body. We are made up of spirit, soul, and body. Or your body allows you to function in the physical world through your five senses. My friends, through the five senses, you are able to relate to the world around you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Your soul enables, my friends, you to relate to yourself. My friends and beloved, your soul, your soul, your your your, your personal your personhood, the reason why you know you're not uh, you, my friends, here is because you process a soul, which is uh, the life principle. The life principle that allows uh, the body to operate this morning. So, my friends, uh, your body allows you to function in a world. Your soul allows you to function, function with your spirit. Hallelujah. Allows you to function, function with God. So your spirit is God, my, my friends, and your soul is, is you and your body is the world around you. You, you, everyone who is born into this world is born into the world with a, a scarred soul. My, my friend, with a scarred soul, so sin has scarred our soul. Sin has scarred our soul and we are born in sin, shape in iniquity, my friends. We are born flawed. We are not born perfect, no now that uh, that shows itself at different levels uh, for different strokes, uh, for different folks, uh, but there is a squeeze. A scary of the soul, some of, uh, of of what uh, is transformed from your mother and your father, and that's why we find ourselves doing a lot of things our parents did, my friends, because we pick up some of the scarring from them. We pick up some of the scarring from them, and you didn't pick up uh, their looks alone, but you pick up their scars, and then the scarring is increased by the things that, that happen to us, my friends and beloved, by circumstances overwhelm us by wrong done to us my friends wrong done to us my friends and beloved all of the ads of the scourging the scourging of the soul my friends this uh, scarring this morning the scarring of the soul brings independence from God when my friends a person accept Jesus Christ my friends this morning my hallelujah praise God the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit invades their human spirit giving them my friends the ability the ability Ability now, my friends, to receive, to receive spiritual, spiritual data when, my friends, the Holy Spirit enters the human spirit, hallelujah, the human spirit, which is now entrusted, entrusted by the Holy Spirit, invades the soul, invades the soul, 
to transform my friends into and get rid of the scars. Are you following me this morning? Hallelujah. He wants to strip away the scars of the soul, my friends, which causes us to do all wrong things. We do, my friends, we do with our bodies. So we do wrong with our bodies because we've got scars on our soul and the spirit wants to heal so that we can be function in a way my friends that brings glory to God and brings us good my friends and so hallelujah this morning he, he breaks us I says he breaks us but he, he breaks us to remake us hallelujah I didn't get that this morning Hallelujah. In Genesis chapter 22, my friends, we, we read, we have a breaking, a breaking occurrence in the life, in the life, my friends, of the patriot uh, Jacob. My friends, all of us remember Jacob. That's camp. Hallelujah. Jacob has a name, my friends, and his name, his name, my friends, being made of trickster. He was a trickster, name mean trickster. His name means he, he, he grab, 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 healer, he'll grab up. His name means uh, surplanter. My friends, uh, hallelujah. His name this morning means deceiver. He is a deceiver. That's what Jacob means. Jacob name, my friends, fix his character. Jacob name fits his character in the Bible name, my friends, have matter in the Bible name, just matter. We name people because we like the name. Hallelujah. My friends, in the Bible, names were given. Names were given to explain the character. The character, my friends. Hallelujah. Jacob, my friends and beloved. Hallelujah. Was a born deceiver. He was a born deceiver from the time he left his mother's womb. He grabbed his brothers, uh, his twin brother, Isa Heel. Hallelujah. Isa is heel. He, 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 he grabbed my friends. He tricked, he tricked his brother out of his birthright. We all know the story with the bowl of soup. My friends, hallelujah. He, he comes to a crisis in chapter 32. In the crisis, in what it looks like, his brother has gotten tired of him. Hallelujah. And he's going to kill him. Hallelujah. That's his son. In chapter 32, my friends, verse, verse, my friends, verse 6. Verse 6 tells us, it's saying that the messengers return to Jacob. Say, we come from your brother Isaac. And furthermore, furthermore, he's coming to meet you. And four and four hundred men are with him. Hallelujah. Four hundred men are with him. Then Jacob was greatly afraid. Jacob was greatly afraid and distressed, my friends and beloved. Hallelujah. He delivered, he divided the people, it says, in the, in the, in the two camps. He divided it between two camps to try to make sure he didn't kill everybody. Hallelujah. My friends, he it says in verse 9, the next thing he did, my friends, hallelujah. What he did was, was say, oh God, oh God, he called upon God because he he's going to take his life. And when that, when he put that, my friends, he got scared enough. He got scared enough. He says, oh God, oh God, Lord, have mercy, have mercy, oh God. God, oh God of my father Abraham and God of my father Isaac, oh Lord God Almighty, he says, who, who, who says to me, return, return to your company, into your relatives, and I will prosper you, I will prosper you, and I'm unworthy of all, of all the stuff you've done for me. In verse 10, he says, and he pray again, he says, and then he makes his request in verse 11, deliver me, I pray, deliver me, I pray from the hand of my brother, from my brother, for the hand of Esau, for I, I fear him, I fear him, I fear him, he will come and attack me, he will come and attack me, and the mothers with the children, and the mothers and the children he says what happens my friends in verse 
in verse 34 in verse 34 then Jacob Jacob was left alone Jacob was left alone and my friends a man wrestled with him a man wrestled with him hallelujah until the they, they, they break until they break hallelujah Jacob my friends is alone now he is alone Jacob is alone hallelujah because my friends and beloved nobody nobody knows nothing nobody knows nothing he knows can help him he by himself hallelujah my friends you know even being in a situation in a situation you will understand what i'm saying where you were all alone where you're all alone oh you you may have had folks around you but you might as well be be by yourself because nothing around you could make a difference i says nothing around you could make a difference he is alone he by himself my friends he being stripped he being stripped hallelujah of everything hallelujah now my friends and beloved watch this this morning hallelujah his uh, he's got a problem his brother after him his brother after him he paid he prays to God and after my friends he prays to God things get worse I said after he prays things get worse hallelujah talk, talk to God hallelujah my friends somebody somebody shows up at night and wrestle and wrestle with him wrestle with him hallelujah until daybreak hallelujah verses 25 tells us hallelujah praise god thank you jesus and when when he the stranger when he the stranger my friends saw that jacob saw that jacob had hallelujah praise god thank you jesus has not prevailed against him hallelujah Praise the Lord when when the stranger saw that uh, that Jacob was uh, wasn't quitting. Jacob was not quitting. My friends, Jacob wasn't showing in the trouble that Jacob wasn't giving up. Hallelujah. Jacob wasn't going to run away when he saw he didn't uh, prevail against him. My friends, he touched the socket of his thigh. He touched the socket of his thigh, and my friends. The socket of Jacob died now dislocated, dislocated, and when he wrestled with him, when he wrestled with him, so the man had to, uh, uh, to dis dis disconnect something and make it worse, make it worse. See what God is trying to break you, my friends. He make it bad, he make it bad. It is it is not uh, responding, my friends. He's making it worse. He's trying, he's trying, my friends to move your core my friends the thing the thing that you are counting on hallelujah praise God I think you're counting on to be able to deliver you my friends verse 26 tells us this morning hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus he says the stranger says I didn't hurt I didn't hurt you no thou tell let me go okay hallelujah that means my friends that Jacob Jacob was holding on, holding on, even, even, even with a dislocated hip. His hip was dislocated, my friends. Hallelujah. So he's hurting and holding, holding, my friends. Uh, that, 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 that hip, that, that, uh, my friends, what has happened to him? He is holding on. He is holding, my friends, and holding, 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 holding. Hallelujah. Praise God. Shikanama Santo easy when God is trying to break you to let go of God my friends God is easy when God is trying to strip you my friends hallelujah I don't want to want it anymore but Jacob says you hurt me man but I'm still going to hold you I'm still going to hold you hallelujah he says I'm not going to going to let you go hallelujah go he says he says I'm not going to let you go I'm not going to let you go hallelujah verse 26 tells us my friends until somebody says until somebody says hallelujah bless me hallelujah bless me now wait wait a minute now my friends and beloved we all know the stranger doesn't have a name this guy has come at night when i'm really scared 
this man is wrestling with me and now my friends this man has dislocated me and I am going from trying to win a fight to trying to get a blessing hallelujah now my friends how do I move from fighting for my life to say blessing well the only way you ask somebody to bless you is if you, you know if you have known they have the ability to do that he know it was not ordinary person he know it was God and when the stranger dislocated zip hallelujah because my friends it doesn't happen till when till when till when his strength is gone when his strength is gone it, it dawns on Jacob it dawns on Jacob this is not a human being hallelujah this is not a human match my friends it's a man but it's not human it's not human they're more to, to this this battle there's more to this battle than just a fight I mean in in the fight of for my life but there is more to this battle than the fight that I'm in hallelujah I'm something spiritual I'm something spiritual is occurring here hallelujah that's why I ask for a blessing that's spiritual so he recognizes my friends he recognizes he doesn't recognize it until until the dislocation happens are you following this morning and this is, is us my friends so here what I do I want you to do I do want you to to mistake my friends the hand of God this morning for the hand of man did you get that this morning see my friends because he's wrestling a man he's wrestling a man but he really dealing with God he really dealing with God and if you see it what you see you don't see at all there my friends it is being it, it is it's seeing God may use something physical to take you to a place to a place that's spiritual this morning he may use something that you can see touch and taste smell and hear my friends hallelujah he's only invaded my friends that uh, to take you into a place my friends that gets him hallelujah are you following me this morning to have your in the in divided undivided attention hallelujah and if you try to push him off my friends here he gonna touch something down there he gonna touch something down there and he will fight until you hurt bad enough until you hurt bad enough are you following me this morning? Shikarama Santa Rabayande, I'm not getting the good to let you go. On, I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. No, many times in the scripture, my friends and beloved, Jesus Christ, Jesus will pretend like he was going to keep going. Hallelujah. The disciples were on the water and they were struggling. Jesus was walking on the water when he got to the boat. It says, and he kept walking like he would pass them by. Hallelujah. It's not so in Luke chapter 24. Hallelujah. It says, when the disciples were, were no one man brought walker home and finally got to the house, Jesus kept walking until, until they invited him back. Did you get that this morning? What Jesus is asking is how bad is do you want it this morning? How bad do you want it? Do you really want me this morning? Hallelujah. And verse 27 tells us, Hallelujah, my friends and beloved. He says to him, He says to him this morning, my friends, he says to him, Man says to Jacob, Hallelujah, what is your name? He says, What is your name? Hallelujah. What is really okay to, to follow this? I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. But oh, oh, my friends, you want to bless him. Hallelujah. You want to bless him. But look at this. What's your name? What's your name? Was asked. Hallelujah. Remember, my friends, naming him, naming him in the Bible refers to your nature, your character, not just your normal literature my friends you do with the nicknames like we call somebody slim that means they're skinny and so the nickname is reflecting something about them when you call somebody red because they they got red here and the, the nickname is described as we know with the nicknames and it did with the names like you call a man freshman or online my friends and mix a descriptive what your name translated describe yourself to me my friends hallelujah 
When we were kids, we had we had false name. Hallelujah. One of my brother's name was Lime and Freshman. Are you willing to admit your name? Are you willing to acknowledge my friends? You, my friends, are are a deceiver. You are a deceiver because, my friends, that's your name. Hallelujah. You are willing to acknowledge, acknowledge that you are a trickster. Hallelujah. You are willing to acknowledge you are a, a flawed a person. You are a flawed person who has lived their life using, using evil, using evil to get by because it's all wrapped up in your name. Hallelujah. It's all wrapped up in your name. But what God wants to know is you is and you are willing to to fess up you're willing to fess up to who you really are my friends when you are alone with him when you're alone with him when you're wrestling with him hallelujah praise god now my friends your name may not be Jacob this morning. Maybe your name is uh, is Lydia or something like that. Maybe your name is Mary or John or James. My name is, is, is Jacob, but your name is a cheetah. Maybe your name isn't Jacob, but maybe your name is a luster. Maybe your name hasn't Jacob, my friends, but your name is a stealer, my friends. Maybe your name is Jacob this morning, but maybe your name is a racist this morning. And uh, what is your name this morning? What is that character in, in, in your life this morning? Hallelujah. That is against the will and character of God this morning. That my friends keep him, keep him from blessing you. Keep him from blessing you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And we will wrestle with you until my friends you say your name. Until you say your name this morning. Shikalama Santo Rabayande. Even if he has to dislocate your hip. My friends, to get here this morning, hallelujah, praise God, what my friends is your name, what is your name, he says, he says, my name is Jacob, he says, my name is Jacob, I am the deceiver, I am the deceiver, he says, in verses 20, he tells us, hallelujah, he says, my friends, he says in verse 28, your name, your name shall no longer be Jacob. I am is in I am I'm a change. I'm gonna change your name. Meaning I I'm, I'm gonna change your character. I'm gonna change your character, says God. Hallelujah. But your name will now be Israel. Your name will now be Israel, for you have striven with God and with men and, and have have prevailed. Have prevailed. Hallelujah. God sees I got a new reality for you Jacob and that new reality is you're going to experience what it looks like when I run the show in your life God prevails God prevails you're going to experience what it looks like when I show up to taunt something because it's God's prevail you won't have to live your life with trickery anymore are you following this morning you will you will have to be you will have to be a deceiver anymore you won't have to be trying to fix yourself anymore because because i'm going to change your name hallelujah see my friends some of us have a name called education because my friends we think we got the ba we got the mba we got the phd and that my education has made me self-sufficient are you following me? Well, I'm going to tell you now. God going to change your name. Hallelujah. Some of us have a name called money. Hallelujah. Because, because my friends, we define our sufficiency with our sufficiency by our bank account and by our credit card, my friends. But I want to tell you now, if you want to experience God, He's going to be trying to change your name. Try to change your name. Some of us, my friends, a name called call my friends or relationship because we got all the hookups we need to get to where we want to go what we want to do but my friends what we want to be but you want to experience God he gonna change your name by letting the relationships fall through and not be able to pull off my friends what you thought they could be able to pull off in order to experience God he will strip you of your name 
Hallelujah. Praise God in order, my friends, for you to know what God, that God prevails this morning. Hallelujah. That, my friends, the spiritual triumph, that physical, and that you and I are not sufficient this morning. Are you following me within, my friends, ourselves? Hallelujah. Praise God. My friends, verse 29, God is speaking to you this morning. Hallelujah. 29 says that Jacob. Jacob asks him and says, please tell me, please tell me your name. Now Jacob is asking for the name and, and, and you ask me my name. Tell, tell me your name. <coughs> listen my friends, listen to this, to the man's response. And the man's response was he says, why, why is it that you ask me? Why is it that you ask me my name? See, see a lot of us tell uh, my friends what's going on. God says you ought to know by now. You ought to know by now everything you didn't try it out. It blocked every contact you made. I didn't stop. I didn't stop every, every time you think you don't have any more dance. I let you something else break. Break down. You ought to know my name by now. You ought to know my name. That's God. Hallelujah. Ought to be clear, my friends, you are dealing with, you ought to be clear who you're dealing with this morning. You're dealing with God, and so it draws on Him. It draws on Him. So, my friends, Jacob named the place, verse in verse 30, Penia. Penia, ben before he said, it's, it's, I have come, I've seen God, He knows His name. Now, I've seen God face to face, I've seen God face to face. Yet my life has been preserved, hallelujah, because they will have killed me. God will have killed me. See, if you only know what God could do, hallelujah, if you only know what God could do, my friends, that he didn't do, hallelujah, doesn't he, doesn't do, some of us should be dead by now, right now, my friends. But I want to tell you, but because of the goodness and grace of God and favor of God, my friends, hallelujah, he brought you out from me, we brought you through when you were thinking. When you were thinking, my friends, you're going to lose your mind. When you're thinking, you're going to lose your mind. Shika, let's give a big hand this morning. Shika, I want to see you, Father. He said, I see you God face to face, and I'm alive. I'm alive to talk about it. I'm alive to talk about it. So if you still have, hallelujah, he ain't finished with you, oh, hallelujah. He ain't finished with you, my friends. But uh, here is where it gets good this morning. Here is where it gets good this morning. Let me bring it uh, to a close here. Hallelujah. Where it gets good, my friends. Now I want to tell you this morning, in verse, uh, in the first Verse 134 of the sun rose, my friends, him as he rose over Pingel. Pingel, my friends, Pingel, and he, that's the place, limping on his spikes. He was limping, he was now limping on his spikes because Hebrews chapter 11, verse 21 says, when he blessed his, his grandchildren, he was limping. He was limping, my friends, in order to bring their blessing. He had to be, he had to be leaning on his staff, leaning on his staff for so many years. He's still limping years, years. He's still limping. So if jumping, if jumping, if Jacob came on the stage today, my friends, you just say, why are you limping? Why are you limping? Jacob will have said, I'm limping because because I've been blessed, I've been blessed, I'm limping because I've been blessed, hallelujah, a few years ago, I was, I was independent, I was self-sufficient, I made it happen till all by myself, God broke me down, God broke me down, he separated, he separated my socket, he separated my socket, and every time I got up and tried to go somewhere, hallelujah, I remember, I remember, I remember about my weakness. I remember about my weakness. I mind to mind that about my dependency. I am not mine. I'm aligned and remember that I can't make it without him. Let's give a big hand this morning. We can't make it without him. 
the bed here, my friends, boy, because you happen over there, hallelujah. I can't, I can't dis dislocate another one. I can't dislocate another one. If I have to go to better, remember you are totally dependent on me. God says, I say, I have been, I will bless, but that was the blessing, hallelujah. When he says, I want to be blessed, he, the, he one time something general, but he was on one for starting when he says, you promise that you will make me a great name, hallelujah, and you will give me a great land, and you see my blessing is something God has already planned to do in the past, hallelujah, that he has not free to do because you are not uh, broke down far enough uh, for him to be free to do it, hallelujah, the blessing is not something new, my friends, if you rule that becomes new to you when you make ready my friends to receive it hallelujah so come to come some of us my friends here need to start limping and say god i'm break my old socket is so i don't want to break my socket so i can be totally dependent dependent on you hallelujah Praise God. Are you following this morning? She can have a son to the day and day. <coughs> no, in closing, if you remember years ago when you were growing up uh, and used to have uh, the, the piggy banks. You know the piggy banks, please. Hallelujah. And slap uh, the, the back uh, and little slap, my friends. You put in you put in your coins in the piggy bank to save up money. When it was time to get your money, you, you shot the piggy bank and you took the big bank and you tore it over. You flip it over down and you began to shake it. You began to shake it now. And the reason you shook it, my friends, is because there is something valuable inside, inside that you wanted, you wanted to come out from the, the come out to the outside and so you shook it harder and harder it was to come out the harder you shook it is because you wanted the money the money that was stuck on the inside hallelujah and so you needed it on 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 the outside so you shook it my friend after a while you realize that you got tired of shaking it because my friends it wasn't coming out like you wanted so so you go and went and get the hammer you went and get the hammer and you then you took it and you hammer and you break it the piggy bank hallelujah because my friends you got tired you got tired it wasn't responding it wasn't responding responding to the shaking it was coming out too slow god will start to shake shake you because there's something valuable inside of you but my friends you didn't respond to the shaking hallelujah he goes to get a hammer he will go to get a hammer because he got to break you in order to get all the good stuff out in you having to come out of you how you get that my friends for your good for his glory my friends and for your good so somebody ought to praise him this morning let's give him a praise this morning in order to make us, hallelujah, he break us in order to make us, is that awesome, is that great and mighty, my friends, God has to break us in order for him to make us, God has to break us in order for us to make us, my friends, hallelujah, we need to understand, hallelujah, we must have an encounter, we must have an encounter with him, my friends, hallelujah, we must have an encounter with him, my friends, unless we have an encounter with him, we will not be able to see what God can do in our lives. God can be so, my friends, I have got impacted because I met God at a new level, hallelujah, and that's what God wants for each of us, he wants, he wants for each of us to have a divine encounter with him, and that takes us above the normal and the ordinary, my friends, hallelujah, run the smack that into the extraordinary this morning, the Bible tells us it's full of divine encounters, Moses encountered God, at the burning bush. Listen to me, Abraham encountered God when he was told to do the unthinkable the sacrifice of on his son. He, my friends, Elijah encountered God when God provided through a widow an unexpected source, my friends. Hallelujah. Jacob encountered God when he, my friends, had to wrestle and get, get his name changed. Hallelujah. And his character fixed. So, my friends, so look 
look for God this morning, hallelujah, look to give, give you the opportunity to encounter him, my friends, it will not come through the normal, hallelujah, I say it will not come through the normal, it will come through the extraordinary, it will come through the unexpected this morning, but my friends, it, it, it always designed to give you a bigger, more personal experience with with his divine encounters this morning. Look for your your look for yours because it will forever change your life. Hallelujah. It will ever change your life, my friends. Are you ready this morning? Look for yours, my friends, for it will forever change your life. Are you ready for God to break you? Are you ready for God to change you in the name of Jesus? It was awesome this morning, my friends. It was a joy and great privilege this morning to be here to minister the word of God. Hallelujah. I do trust that you have a wonderful day. God bless you richly. I love you in the love of God. Do have a wonderful day in the mighty name of Jesus.